thousands of strands of pure narrative woven intricately through the tapestry that is my campaign. And yet my player characters don't seem to know what to do or where to go or what they should actually be doing, and they've kind of stalled. They've sort of got lost in amongst all of this amazing tapestry that I've been weaving together so meticulously for all these years. What do? Hello and welcome to this week's episode of How to Be a Great GM. Huh. I, I don't know. I, I, it's cold in the studio. All right. Um, so, so what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about um, bringing back, bringing... What are we talking about today? We're we, we, we kind of lost. Uh, we're talking about bringing your campaign back onto track when you feel like you've lost the plan. Now, there are many reasons why our campaigns can get a little bit bogged down, especially if your players are particularly inquisitive or creative or explorative. And they've kind of gone off and they've got this adventure kind of half hanging. They've got this clue over here. They've got this over there. They've got this stuff going on. So if your campaign is starting to feel a little bit like a river delta that is just spreading outwards in all different directions, and you kind of want to bring it back, you want to refocus it, make sure that it is something that is going to end at a specific time, or that it's just kind of going to get back into the flow of things. What do we do? Where do we start? How do we, how do we handle this? Well, these are our thoughts, my thoughts, on how we do that. And we start with, hopefully you've watched some previous videos on setting yourself a goal for your adventure or for your campaign, because that's what we need to do. We need to go back and we need to reflect on what you feel is currently missing. What do you think is slowing everything down? What is not currently in your campaign? And that could be my players don't know where to go, or my players have all of the information, but they're too busy doing other things. Look at your goal. Go back to that goal. Reflect on what its purpose was. And if you've achieved that goal, well, now you need to set yourself a new goal. Set yourself on something that you can achieve or as I said, reflect on what you had hoped to achieve. If you are nowhere near what you have hoped to achieve, you then need to say, well, why? What have I done? What are my adventures doing or not doing that are preventing me from achieving that goal that I set for myself? If you'd never set a goal, now is your opportunity to go, you know what? The campaign is yeah, it's wishy-washy. Set yourself a goal. What do you, what do you as the GM want to achieve from, from this game? Do you want to achieve a climatic ending? Do you want to achieve humor? Do you want to achieve a cinematic kind of feel? Look at what you've been doing previously and then say, well, does that actually align? And if it doesn't align, you can now start to shift it ever subtly and slowly towards that goal. Bear in mind, though, that if you started your campaign as a horror campaign and you change your mind halfway through, you want it to now be a comedic campaign, your players may have pushback because they signed up for horror. So when you are looking at what is missing, make sure that whatever you identify as missing is missing from the original purpose or from the original intention and then try and start to look at how can you bring that back into the game how would you do that well your next adventure whatever the adventure the characters are on your next adventure you then need to say right i need to get these folks back into a horrific environment so i'm going to present them with npcs that will lead them into a giant uh, dungeon which is actually the insides of an undead beast and that they're going to get digested as they're going through the dungeon however you want to play it out you've now got an adventure for free by just thinking about your goal and where you sit within that goal it was established thousands of years ago we have spoken about this on the channel since its very inception as a matter of fact episode one of how to be a great gm deals with this very specific topic structure of the narrative 
Look to your structure! Look to your structure! Sometimes our games need structure. Sometimes they have structure, but we just don't know where we are in that structure. So when we're talking about structure, as he said, three acts, five steps, whichever system you want to use, one, two, one, doesn't matter. All of those videos are available on this channel. Uh, whichever steps we are following, whichever structure we are following, we can sit back and reflect and go, well, the, I, I am achieving my goal right? Or I've now got my goal that is now focused, but where am I within the bigger narrative? Because I do want this to feel like a story and not just a series of little individual stories. Okay, well, look at the structure. Are you kind of in the middle? Are you towards the end? Are you towards the beginning? I've got two campaigns that have been running simultaneously now, one for a year and a half and the other one for a year. They're both at the end of Act 2 and now moving into Act 3. They're both at the point where they are now in full command of the situation. They now have to enact their plan to defeat the big bad. And they need to go and just do that. That's where both of them are, even though they've been playing for different times. Because I looked at where I was in my campaigns on both sides. And I decided that it was time for me to get to that turning point to get to that transition where the characters go from finding out to where the characters go to having a plan and enacting that plan and it's given my campaign tremendous focus tremendous guidance on where to go as beautiful and as mysterious and as wondrous as your tapestry might be that you've been weaving together with all these lovely little plots and all these NPCs and all these plans and all of these amazing things that have just filled your campaign with life, oh life, you sometimes do need to just cut them out and leave them alone. End them. Sometimes you need to prune. It doesn't have to be just hack. You can do it well. Frequently we have added seeds of ideas and adventures all over the place in the hopes that our player characters will pick up on some and go with them and give us indicators as to what kind of adventures they're interested in as players and things like that. But sometimes we end up with lists of adventures that still need to be resolved or the players have got themselves involved in a trading ring or they're trying to establish a village around their lair or sometimes what happens is that our adventures become so complex that they lose momentum. And, and they can't move forward because the players are kind of strapped going, oh, well, we, we really need to go to the giant Arctic ice shelf and defeat the ice giant to get the key to the sacred palace. But at the same time, we know that we, if we don't save the villagers from the plague that is converting them all into undead, that the kingdom of the south is going to be. And then we also can't go here because we need to do this first because we promised them. Sometimes all of these wonderful adventures and things get in the way of the party moving forward, getting in the way of your campaign moving forward. So we need to cut them out. We need to terminate them. And oftentimes it's as simple as a letter arrives going, hey, folks, you know that plague that was, that was just a major issue for us? Well, we actually found a cure. That's right. We found a cure. And so we're OK. Here's some tribute to say thanks for all of your efforts. It wraps it up and sends it out the door and removes it from the minds of the players, which allows them to then refocus their attentions on the campaign. So you might have worked out what your goal is, you might have worked out where you are in the structure, but the players can't move forward because they've got all this other ancillary stuff happening. Shut down all of those. Don't just get 20 letters. This is done, this is done, this is done. You need to take your time to play this out but just by knowing that you have to terminate it, instead of having the 12 adventures that you had originally thought would spin out of this one idea, have it finish in one adventure. We can do it. We know we can. So that's what we will do, is just pruning this wild bush of adventures to make it into a nice tree with a final conclusion.
And once you are done pruning and neatening up your story, you can also look at what is preventing the characters from moving forward. This could be as simple as they have no means of transportation to get from point A to point B, or that there is something going on that prevents them from crossing the bridge. Enable them. It sounds simple, but, again, don't have a whole... NPC walks up, goes, Oh, by the way, I have the secret access codes to the Death Star. I mean... Okay, it kind of worked, but let's not look at it from that perspective. Look at the adventure that comes with getting that. So you run one adventure, or maybe two adventures, but usually it's just one that enables the characters. You see? You see? So enable them. Here's more. Well, uh, yes, yes, yes. So what do we mean by that? The party needs to get from point A to point B, but... Because we created an awesome map and we had planned on this campaign running for five years, now it's only going to run for one year, or we... Whatever. Things have happened, things have changed. The party can't actually get from point A to point B without it being super weird. We need to enable them somehow. So perhaps... It's a case of they have an adventure where there is someone in distress, they help that person, and then that person has a flying ship, which allows the party to get from point A to point B. A classic example is that a battle, a war has started, and the PCs need to get to the other side of that country without sort of having to engage in the battles, because the whole war front was a cool adventure idea initially, but now it's just stopping them from moving forward. Okay, well, let's get them special transport over it or under it or however you want to, to do that. Sometimes you might have caused cataclysmic events to happen which have shut down a lot of the easy movement kind of things. Spells, teleportation, um, technology, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes you need to bring it back or a variant or someone has discovered something that will bring it back. So unlike the previous... Um, section we were talking about where you're shutting down options here you are adding options to the party and I think once you are doing all of that your game will be much more focused it will come back to its original roots and it will be able to progress forward and again this is not just a once-off action folks you may need to do this every couple months and say, well, where am I? Is, is stuff still happening? Are we still going forward? Have we again started to branch out in different directions? Let's bring it back. Let's apply these four very basic sort of ideas to the campaign to see where we end up. And with that, we come to the end of today's video. Thank you to you for watching all the way to the end. Thank you to our Patreons who keep this channel going. And to, of course, all of our wonderful sponsors who bring us amazing new toys and trinkets to play with. We appreciate all of you. Until next week, I wish you and yours the happiest of gaming.